Hi everybody, it's Mr Dylan here, Uncle Sean to some, Sean to many more. I hope you're all doing really, really well. It's Friday and it's the weekend! Yay! And I'm really, really excited to sit on my backside and do nothing, like all of you guys. So, thank you very much for joining me again today, before the weekend. At least we know that the weather is going to be good for another couple of days, so we can get out into our gardens or we can go for lovely walks in our local neighbourhoods. So, Let's be thankful for that. So, before we get started today on our story, which I know you're all really excited for because it is the sequel to Wonky Donkey. I've been asked about this about four or five times. When is it coming? Are we going to do it? And I was like, right, okay, we'll do it. But before we do that, I just want to share this book with you that I've got here in my hand. And it's called Poems from Green and Blue Planet. And it's edited by Sabrina Mathuz. And... It's a collection of poems all about earth and the environment and the seasons and weather and nature. And it's been sitting on my desk for the last few weeks. And every day when I come to my desk in the morning to work, I usually open it up and just have a little flick through it. And this morning, I opened it up and I read one of the poems quite near the start. And it actually was quite a nice poem for, again, for the current situation. And I just thought, what a nice way to start off our story time today by doing this little poem. So I'm going to read this to you first. I'll show you the cover of the book before we get started. It is... There we go. So if you would like to buy this, again, I'm not getting any commission from any of these books. I'd just like to point out, because I have been asked that question. No commission. This is just for fun, just for education, just to keep me a little bit sane. But this is a really gorgeous book, and it's one that everybody should have in their houses. It's really, really lovely. So if you want to, get it on Amazon, get it from your local bookshop, wherever. It's up to you though. So the poem that I'm going to read to you before we do our story is called New Every Morning by Susan Coolidge. Every morn is the world made new. You who are weary of sorrow and sinning, here is a beautiful hope for you, a hope for me, and a hope for you. All the past things are past and over. The tasks are done and the tears are shed. Yesterday's errors let yesterday cover. Yesterday's wounds, which smarted and bled, are healed with the healing which night has shed. Yesterday, now, is a part of forever, bound up in a sheaf which God holds tight. With glad days and sad days, and bad days, which never, shall visit us more with their bloom and their blight, their fullness of sunshine or sorrowful night. Let them go, since we cannot relive them, cannot undo, and cannot atone. God, in his mercy, receive, forgive them. Only the new days are our own. Today is ours, and today alone. Here are the skies all burnished brightly. Here is the spent earth all reborn. Here are the tired limbs springingly lightly to face the sun and to share with the morn in the chrism of dew and the cool of dawn. Every day is a fresh beginning. Listen, my soul, to the glad refrain. And spite of old sorrow and older sinning and puzzles, puzzles forecasted and possible pain, take heart with the day and begin again. And I don't really know why that resonated with me but it just did with everything that's going on just now. Every day is a new day. What happened yesterday is in the past and every day as we move forward things are getting better and that just that really came through in that poem for me, so I wanted to share it with you all today. So that was a bit of an unplanned poem uh, today, but I hope you enjoyed that. Now, let's take that book away. Thank you very much. And let's move on with today's Mr Dowling Shutdown Storytime. I nearly forgot the name of my own programme now there. And this is the book that has been in high demand since my birthday. I read one book on my birthday and... I got more views than I've had before. I got more comments than I've had before. I got more messages than I had before. 
And the main thing that came through was, Mr. Dowlin, have you seen the sequel to Wonky Donkey? And I was like, no, I've not heard of that. But luckily, a friend had the sequel, and they have loaned me the sequel. So today, we are going to be reading... Dinky Donkey! The sequel to Wonky Donkey, written by Craig Smith and illustrations by Katz Cowley. I've not read this, I don't know what it's about, but again, just a little disclaimer to all the boys and girls, mums and dads watching out there, waiting for Mr. Dillon to slip up. I'm going to try so hard to get all the words correct in this because this is a tongue twister and I don't get my words out very well in the first place. So let's see how we go. So, the Dinky Donkey. <coughs> Wonky Donkey had a child. Oh, and there she is, peeking out at the corner of Wonky Donkey's backside. It was a little girl. Hee-haw! She was so cute and small. She was a dinky donkey. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee-haw! She was so cute and small and she had beautiful long eyelashes. She was a blinky dinky donkey. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes and she loved to listen to rowdy music. She was a Punky Blinky Dinky Donkey. And look at her, she's been quite cheeky. She's got her big eye makeup on. She's got her rainbow mohawk and she's sticking her tongue out. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. And she painted her hooves bright pink. She was an inky pinky punky blinky dinky donkey. And look at her. She's painting her hooves. But look what she's using to paint her, her, her hooves with. She's using the wonky donkey's tail. Oh, I wonder if he noticed. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee-haw! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink and she had to go pee-pee. Oh. She was a winky-tinky-inky-pinky-punky-blinky-dinky-donkey. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw! No, oh, there's that French donkey back, back again. <gasps> she was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink. She had to go pee pee. And she loved to play the piano. She was a. Can you guess it? She was a plinky plonky winky tinky inky pinky punky blinky dinky donkey. <sighs> These are getting harder. These are getting harder to say. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful big long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink. She had to go pee pee. She loved to play the piano. And she wore wild sunglasses. She was a funky plinky plonky winky tinky inky pinky punky blinky dinky donkey. <sighs> Whew. This is this is making me this 
seems like a workout. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Let me hear you saying it. Oh, didn't quite hear it. Let's try again. One, two, three. Hee haw! Well done! She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves pink, bright pink. She had to go pee pee. She loved to play the piano. She wore wild sunglasses. And she smelt just as bad as her dad. She was a stinky funky plinky plonky winky tinky inky pinky punky blinky dinky donkey. <sighs> Boy. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee 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 ha! The end. I love that. That was really funny. I'm not good with tongue twisters, so I hope there was no mistakes in that as I was going through. I'm sure there will be some complaints. Send them in. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. Anyway, that is the end of Mr. Dylan's story time for this week. We all know that I don't teach on a Monday, so there will be no Mr. Dylan's story time until next Tuesday. But thank you very much for joining us again today. Oh, and before I forget, today at three o'clock, Mr. Dowling is going to be putting on YouTube his first Mr. Dowling's Diamond Disco in nearly five months. I'm getting my playlists back on and we're going to have a bit of a sing-along, a dance-along all together. You can access that on um, YouTube from three o'clock. I will share it on all my social media platforms. So if you just want to listen to some cheesy tunes, have a dance around the house... Make a fool of yourself, that's what I'm going to be doing. I might even send a video of me dancing. That might be fun. So if you want to join in with that, that'll be fun as well for Mr. Dowling's Diamond Disco. All classic songs, nothing that comes after 2010. I might put a couple of requests in for the kids, but we'll see how we go. It's all classic music in my case, as you can see. Fleetwood Mac. So have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Stay safe, stay well, stay home. And I shall see you all soon. Bye.